my beloved love. Feminine ancestors, I'm getting that many feminine ancestors who came before you were not given the chance or opportunity in this life to fully embody the full-blown essence, the full spectrum of their own energy, because they were forcibly tied into very codependent dynamics very early on that they were never fully able to break free from, because the collective vibration was much lower at that point in time so there wasn't an available energetic pathway for them to ascend to these higher planes of consciousness where they could really exude again the full spectrum of their energy, of their frequency. Or at the very least, even if the relationship was quote-unquote healthy on the surface, beneath the surface, they always felt a gnawing sense of unfulfillment because they had an awareness that they weren't fully embodying themselves, that core soul frequency within themselves because they had energetically bonded themselves to other masculines so early in their life. Many of these feminines may have even gotten married at a very, very young age and never had the time or space to really fully find and define themselves. Now, regardless of your relationship status, divine feminine listening to this reading, you might be in a relationship, you might be married, although I do feel that for many of you, you're on a highly independent romantic path at this moment. But again, regardless of your 3D relationship status, you are on this highly individualized journey of self-love that, in a sense, is a rare privilege because it's something that your feminine ancestors were not given the opportunity to do. But it's also a great burden in another sense because it's a heavy task to be one who is breaking with convention in the sense that you are no longer codependently tying yourself into a relationship or connection with other masculines. Again, even if you are dating or married, you are breaking the status quo of codependency that was established for centuries, where feminine energies would self-sacrifice themselves to the masculine. You are breaking out of that. You are really stepping into your empowerment. You are, as I said in a recent Instagram post, you're wearing your own energy. By the way, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at Magnetize Yourself, so you can follow me there for more regular smaller scale energy updates and readings. And of course, as I shuffled the deck, the lover's card came out. So you are actually divine feminine aligning with this lover's energy, with the energy of a powerful, harmonious spiritual union but it's because you are finding this union from within yourself. I'm also hearing something about physical bodily self-confidence. So, you may specifically be breaking down limiting belief systems around accepting, loving, and embracing your own physical body. And in doing so, really stepping into that Empress energy. We not only have the Lover's card, but also the Empress card coming out here. The number 333 may also be connecting to someone as well, a feminine I'm tapped into here. Maybe feeling very artistic as of late. From divine muscular. Type yes if you believe.